Today we talk about Megan Thee Stallion, Nipsey Hussle, Lizzo, and what's going down with The Breakfast Club. Big K-pop news, the group Girls' Generation has reunited. An icon ain't sorry for announcing her retirement. Hint Boys stops by with the game to talk about their new album. I'm Tetris Kelly for Billboard News. It's Thursday, August 11th, and here are your top stories for the day. Lizzo, Nipsey, Megan, and Drake? There's a lot going down in the world of hip-hop. Let's run it down real quick. Yes. I feel like I do, Precious. Kathy Hilton couldn't be more disconnected from pop culture, as she mistakes Lizzo for Precious star Gabby Sidibe with Andy Cohen. Uh, that is Lizzo. She is Precious, though. Lizzo's Precious. That's like what I call her. Now, I know Andy likes to play the game while Kathy know them, but come on, you're out here embarrassing Paris and Nikki. You know better. I'm prolific, so gifted. I'm the type that's gon' go get it. And Nipsey Hussle is being honored after death with a star on the Walk of Fame. The Hollywood Chamber of Commerce revealed that the ceremony celebrating the icon will take place on what would have been his 37th birthday, August 15th. Megan Thee Stallion is dropping new music, but is still going through it with her label. She tweeted, Y'all know I always have problems with dropping my music under this label. All these games and having to go to court just to put out my art has been so stressful. Thank you, hotties, for rocking with me. Drake? <laughs> Drake? And amid news that Angela Yee is reportedly leaving The Breakfast Club, Charlemagne posted, Thank you for the years of support. And remember, to sustain longevity, you have to evolve. Girls' Generation has reunited for their 15th anniversary, and we have the chat here at Billboard. Following the girl group's 2017 album Holiday Night, the eight members set off on paths that typically signal a group's end, but now they're back. Member Tiffany stated, there was an electric energy being back in the studio to record a Girls' Generation album. We are all super excited for the fans to have this album. In their initial years together, Girls' Generation broke barriers in Korean music's international expansion with a record deal with Interscope, experimenting with English singles while becoming the first K-pop act to perform on late night and morning TV spots in the U.S. U.S. Open ticket prices skyrocketed after Serena Williams announced her retirement. On Tuesday, Serena Williams announced she will retire from tennis in an essay she wrote for the cover story of Vogue September issue, saying in part, I've been reluctant to admit that I have to move on from playing tennis. It's like a taboo topic. It comes up and I start to cry. She went on to say it's best to describe her retirement as an evolution and that she's evolving away from tennis. Well, this news has fans clamoring to score tickets to what could be a historic championship tournament, with prices going well over $500 for the best seats. We've even seen as high as $3,500. Serena was 17 years old when she won her first ever Grand Slam at the US Open in 1999. And with 102 match victories, Williams holds the record for the most US Open wins in history. Throughout her career, Selena has won four Olympic gold medals, 73 singles titles, 23 Grand Slam singles titles, and 14 Grand Slam doubles titles and her influence can be seen elsewhere. Her December 2015 Sports Illustrated cover was emulated in Beyonce's Sorry music video that also featured the tennis legend. Now I'm the one that's lying and I don't feel bad about it. We hope Serena's evolution leads to more team-ups between her and Beyonce. We've got an incredible interview for you with rap royalty The Game and producer Hit Boy, you know, the one that brought you Thick by Beyonce. That's that thick, that's that na -na, that uchi -uchi la la, yeah, that's that Fiji. They teamed up for the game's new LP, Dramatic, and they've got 30 tracks for you to vibe to. One of the songs Billboard's own Carl Lamar got us a first listen to. It's amazing. Take a look. I just feel like I feel like right now with like everything going on, like the world just need love. Like, you know. Don't forget to check the full interview on Billboard.com out Friday. That's it for today. Make sure you subscribe for all the latest news and interviews. I'm Tetris Kelly for Billboard News. We'll see you tomorrow.